Man, this would be a little hill climb back up for that thing. Holy mackerel. <laughs> well, so it's going to be a test, ain't it? I guess so. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We are out for a little ride today, Kevin, my son, and uh, he's on the 300L. I'm on the CT125. And basically, I'm going to stop and show them here first. Basically, it's because I want to try out the new setup on here. I got the IRC GP1 on the front and the Shinko 244 on the rear. And then I also got a, a uh, 15. 45 sprocket setup with the DID uh, VX X ring chain. So, so far, as far as the gravel road coming over here to this spot, super. But I have to say, <laughs> the stock tires that come on here was actually good on the gravel road, too. So, I can't say these are better on that gravel road because I never had any problem with the stock tires. Now, these tires hopefully are better built for this stuff than the stock tires. You'd think so. I hope. they definitely going to have to have more traction. Especially if we get in something like sandy stuff or mud. These are bound to be better. We're this crossing is, a creek bed. Oh. We are crossing a creek bed, too. And Kevin on the 300L, he has a little better suspension than I do, for sure. <laughs> it's like this bike, I don't feel like I have a problem with it bottoming out. It's just real stiff. It don't soak up the bumps like the 300L. But now this thing is lower geared. Because I, I, I did make it higher geared by one tooth in the front, but I made it lower geared two times in the rear by putting a 45 in the rear. So basically, I'm like one time lower geared with the setup I have. So it ought to be a little better. I know on the highway, when it says, this thing says I'm doing 50, I'm actually doing 45. Or, sorry. 46. It's four mile an hour off. This is a cool place to ride out here. Yeah, it is a fun little trail. Yeah, we came out here one time on the 300Ls, just me and Kevin. Scott's not been out here. And there's a lot of places we didn't, or there's some places we know of we didn't turn on, so we may check out some different ones today and see what we can find. Yeah, so the bike goes good. This stuff, no problem. Now, it's definitely rougher as far as suspension. But like I say, it don't feel like it's bottom out. It just feels like it's super stiff. The one thing about it, suspension is cheap for this. Some upgrades. <laughs> Nothing like the 300L costs. I would pass Kevin, but he'll get to crying, get upset, because I'm showing him up. <laughs> Remember that one spot up there on the left where we stopped and at the cow feeder and we went out and looked at the rock, off that rock? Oh, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about, yeah. We stopped and there was a, one of those cow, uh, cow lick things there, and then we walked out and climbed up the rock. Yeah was out here on this road. There's plenty of rocks out here. <laughs> Ain't shy of no rocks. They're everywhere. Ooh, that's a mud hole. Stay on the left. Uh-oh. This thing's going to get stuck. That's pretty muddy, too. 
pretty soupy, but it that wasn't no problem. Trail 125. It's not called CRF. I can definitely tell when I put it down in first, I'm lower geared than I was with the stock gearing, no doubt. I like that. It does better on this stuff like this. I mean, a lot better. Hope I don't get a hole in my radiator. Now, hang on. Yeah, I did turn it on record. <laughs> it's like, did I turn this on record? You heard the beep. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, what we got here? I need to have fun on this trail out here on this. It'd be a good one. Oh, yeah. To, to bring him to. Yeah, this is a good little trail. Oh, that's the rock right there. Yeah, that's it. Right where we stopped it, which is the rock. I'm not used to metal skid plate on that CRF, but that plastic skid plate, so you really don't hear the rocks near as much or as loud on this metal one. Every time a rock hits it, you can hear it. Yeah, I've heard I've heard a few of them through the mic. <laughs> yeah. And on with the plastic, that's what I like about the plastic. I don't know, hopefully they'll make one for this high plastic. It'd be sweet. I'd have it in a heartbeat, because they're definitely good. A lot of people figured plastic ain't tough, but it is. We put we put them skid plates on there, them AXP skid plates on them 300Ls through a beat. <laughs> now, were <laughs> you talking about that trail to the right? Yeah. That's when we had to go on. down it? Yeah, we just will. Yeah, this is it. I don't know if it's a trail or if it's just a, it shows a number. Like a numbered trail, so find out. It's not on the map. Which is usually the good ones. That watch is gonna turn around and take us all the way back. Hopefully it don't turn <laughs> off into a, a canyon. <laughs> and take us right back to where we come from. Get back to where we once belonged. Oh, somebody's freshly been through here. Hmm. Man, this would be a little hill climb back up for that thing. Holy mackerel. <laughs> well, so it's going to be a test, ain't it? I guess so. My ABS is working down this hill, that's for sure. I can feel it. <laughs> what have we got here? Just a just camp spot or something?
I do like the first year on this thing. You can just barely pull the throttle in, and then you can just crawl right up hills like that. Yeah. Works good. Mine's even better because my 300L is a year down. Oh, yeah. I have a 42 tooth rear sprocket. So it's a little better than even yours. It helps. That 42 on there, and it don't lose a whole bunch on the top end. That's good. A pretty good trail. Winds are blowing. Winds are blowing up here. Dang sure ain't lacking no rocks, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, there is rocks. As you can see all this, just rocks. And they just it's not been dozed where people drove through it. There's no there's no dozed out road here. Everybody running over the rocks. Now, my last video, we took this CT125, and Scotty had his. Kevin was on this 300, and we took these things pretty much on a hill climb. It, I know on the video it don't look like a steep hill climb, but that was pretty much, we maxed out the limits on these things. They just wouldn't do it no more. Yeah, the not, hills on the video look flat. Yeah, not with, <laughs> the, not with the stock gearing they wouldn't do no more. And I don't know with this gearing if it would do much better. But I don't really care. I mean, I'm not out to, you know, do monster hill climbs and all that crap anyway. Just out to have fun. So it's not like a, a big deal. One thing about it, it's probably not going to get you in trouble on a hill climb and flip over backwards or nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to have enough power to flip itself over backwards. Now, the 300, you could. Oh, yeah, really easy. You got to gear it down and hit that throttle. <laughs> yeah, you, you could come over backwards on it. You ain't going to on this one. I mean, unless you're actually trying to and, and lifting it up. I don't know. Man, this thing goes quite a ways. I don't know where. Oh, there's another road up here, it says. Coming up on the map. Anyway, I don't know where hit it, but there's one showing on the map. Oh, Montezuma Canyon Road. Hmm. Now, they did build up right here. This is those. Yeah, you can see that. Somebody's running dozer through here. Man, I'm about to take this dang jacket off. It's starting to get warm going the slow. We're just crawling. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good right now, but it's probably going to get worse. We're in southern Arizona. It's supposed to be 73 today. It's supposed to be 78 tomorrow, so me and the wife are going to take the go wing out for a ride tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take my jacket off. All right. I'm not going to come up to a dead end there. Wait. Uh, it turns right. By oh. that fence. Huh. Montezuma Canyon Road. <laughs> okay, turn around here. We'll just go back. All right. Where we come from? But that's how you find out. Explore them suckers. That was a good one anyway. Yeah. So we'll go find some more. Guys, we're in this video here. Part two, you can watch uh, the rest of our adventure today. Thank you all for watching. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And we'll catch you in the next one. Right on. Dang, that's a nice air. Let me see if I can do it. Ooh. Hey, my front tire come off the ground. <laughs>